Hi everyone, Andrew Goodwin here. I wanted to make a short video to respond to uh, uh, e uh, an inbox message that I received um, in the last day or so. Um, and I felt that maybe in making a video reply I could give uh, my opinion on a few things and hopefully um, say some things that might help. Uh, not just the particular person that uh, sent me the message but to other people as well <clears throat> so um, so I received a message today um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to read the message out I'll read the message out and then um, I'll post a link to the uh, the person that sent me a message so that as you get this this is this is for you um, and for anybody else that might find this interesting or useful so this is what this is what you wrote to me hi uh, are you Andrew Goodwin? Yes, I am. Um, will God ever free me from my mental disease? I've had it for 10 years now, and I just want to give up now. Please, do you have any encouraging words? Also, what is your take on schizophrenia? Is it demonic or just a brain disease? So I just want to quickly pray. Heavenly Father, I thank you that you are a good God and that you love us and that you have a plan for us, Lord. Thank you for everything that you've done for us to reconcile us to you. Help us, Lord God, to know the truth and the truth will make us free. Just bless this video, bless the viewers of this video. May your will be done in all of our lives. In the name of Jesus, your precious Son. Amen. Amen. So I kind of want to start. Um, first of all, I Thank you for, for asking me these questions. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start at the, at the end and hit that one straight off straight away. What is my take on schizophrenia? Is it demonic or is it just a brain disease? Basically, yes. I, I want to say completely out and out, I believe that 100% schizophrenia is, one way or another, it is demonic. Um, it's where demons have been allowed to enter into a person's life, whether through that person um, opening spiritual doors in their own life, or whether um, they have been, whether you have been exposed to um, spirits that have been in your family um, for generations. You know, maybe there's. Uh, certain generational curses that have been on your family and therefore demons could have come in that way but it, it's so easy and especially if you are not a Christian and if you have no understanding uh, or, well say understanding no relationship with Christ with the Lord Jesus um, then it's it's a difficult place to kind of start off so first things first is I need to ask you um, do you have a saving faith in Jesus Christ? Have you? Um, do you know what Jesus did for you? That He died on the cross for you. Do you know that you needed to be saved? I mean, right now you know that you need to be saved. But even if you weren't suffering from this mental illness that you know you've clearly been suffering with, even if that weren't so, and you had you know, what many people might say, the perfect life, whatever that may be. Even those people who've got it all together. You know, everybody, all of us need saving. Jesus died for all of us. And for all of us who would um, put our trust in, in him, put our faith in him, um, receive him, believe him, believe what Jesus taught, what he says, what he teaches, then we have the right to become children of God. And if you have done that, if you have become a child of God, then it's my opinion that we then we then have a birthright. And a part of that birthright is to be free from everything of the devil. Um, so, yeah, those would be my, partly, some of the encouraged words I'd, I'd give you. If you've given your life to the Lord, you've got a birthright. 
You have been made a new creation and you have the authority as a follower of Christ, as one of his disciples, you have authority over all the plans of the evil one. You have authority over every unclean spirit, every over every demonic spirit. And but one of the things Jesus said that is really applicable to, to people with uh, mental illness is, if you are my disciple, you will know the truth, and the truth will make you free. And when anybody comes uh, and receives Jesus Christ as their saviour, whether they know it or not, whether they've got a massive long list of, of particular problems, or whether you know whether they've got a seemingly normal life, every one of us, every one of us comes to the law um, spiritually bankrupt. We've got nothing. We're broken. You know, we're unproductive spiritually. We can't um, do anything. We can't achieve anything for God. But when we are born again, we have an inheritance, a spiritual inheritance that lasts forever. And we can overcome all things. It's not necessarily going to be overnight. It's not like, you know, with me, you know, um, I gave my life to the Lord and it wasn't until you know two years three years later that i was actually well enough to stop taking medication um, i've been off medication for eight years now nine years yeah something like that it's been a long time I've slept since then a lot's happened <laughs> um you know so that's the starting place surrendering your life to god surrendering your life to god and not not just because i mean Yes, he can heal you. Yes, he wants to heal you. But you've got to come to him for the right reasons. You've got to come to him because you know that you need him. You know, and that means repenting. That means being sorry for your sins. Um, and being committed to, to actually following him the rest of your life. There is no um, quick, quick solution to our problems. The only solution to our problems is to follow Jesus and to get to know our Father in Heaven. That's the only solution to any of our actual problems in this world. If we fully knew Father God and we walked and lived um, the fullness that in the in the life that the Lord Jesus died that we could live in, if we lived in that, our lives would be amazing. There would be no fear of, of, of anything at all. Uh, we would be at peace with our, with God, and we would just see things in a completely different way. Praise the Lord. You know, so yeah, so you know, you've had this mental illness for ten years now. So obviously, you know, you've struggled. You've been through great, great difficult times, and it's brought you to a point where you feel as though you can't go on. You know, I, it, it was at my lowest point in my life where I did find the Lord. So I want to say, you know, put your hope in Jesus. Put your hope in Jesus. Come to Jesus. Find Jesus. Seek him with all of your heart. You know. God can do it. And God wants to do it. You know. It says in the Bible that his ways are higher than our ways. You know, we so often, we want, you know, five step solutions or, you know, a three year plan. We want to know how everything's going to work out. We want, you know, ahead of time so that we can have some sense of control in our lives. You know, we want to, to be able to rely on ourselves and our own abilities and our own strengths. And, you know, so often in life, we can feel as though that life itself is slipping through our fingers. But when we have faith and we choose to, to, to hope, you know, we choose to believe the truth that Jesus died, he rose from the dead, he's seated at the right hand of God, 
And spiritually speaking, I am seated with him. We are seated with him. We're not called to be entangled and held down um, and, 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 you know, entangled and tied up in, in anything of darkness anymore. That's not what we're called to do. We're called to overcome the darkness and to live, I believe, in, in the, you know, like a higher, a higher place. Doesn't mean that we won't have problems, doesn't mean we won't have troubles, it doesn't mean that we won't still have battles, but, you know, Jesus is our peace. So if we are believers, then we need to be taking our peace from Him. Okay. So yeah, I completely believe that, um, that schizophrenia is a combination of different demons. That's why it affects different people in different ways. Um, it's like a network. It's like, you know, imagine like he's a, Frank Hammond put it, he, yeah, the Lord gave him a revelation, Frank Hammond. I have a Frank Hammond playlist on my YouTube channel. But the Lord gave him a revelation that was like, I can't remember the names of the particular demons, but they all kind of inter, intertwined and interwove around the, the schizophrenic person's mind, creating um, two separate kind of like false personalities. It's really interesting. Get a copy of Pigs in the Parlour by Frank Hammond if you can. It's a, it's a wonderful and insightful read. Um, I would say as well, don't give up hope, you know. There's a lot of people, I've had a lot of people um, get in touch with me who struggle with mental illness and, you know, are believers. And sometimes there are no easy answers you know sometimes i i want to be able to take that person and and lift them up out of that situation and help them get to a better place but sometimes the lord just has his own ways the lord has his own timing and i, I want to say that as we trust in the lord as we seek the lord with all of our hearts as we rely upon the lord as we uh, want to please the lord as we want to know him more as we spend time praying um you know, and, and asking him, Lord, you know, help me to live my life the way that you create. Help me to live the life you created me to live, not just the life that I'm living. You know, because sometimes, especially as we are affected um, demonically um, in in the days of our lives before meeting Jesus, um we can develop, our personalities can get um, warped and twisted and we can have all kinds of uh, issues and, and prides and um, so many things that, that parts of our characters that actually hold us back and, and that God want, would, wants to, <clears throat> if, we, if you were given permission, God wants to be able to chip away at some of these characteristics that, that we are. The things in us, the, the things about us that are not like Jesus, they're not, you know, the things in us that make us selfish, that make us think about us all the time. You know, God wants to be able to set us free from those things because actually the biggest bondage, the biggest demonic chains that, that people can be in, can be in, is to be in bondage to self, to, to, to be to, to be, you know, to be selfish, to be thinking about your own soul, your own needs, is completely to be looking inward. And we live in a society, in a world that's always encouraging us to put our own needs above the needs of others. And God's currency is is the opposite. You know, God says it's better to give than to receive. You know, um, for no. There's no greater love, Jesus said, um, than this, than, than, than to lay down your life for your friends. So that's the opposite of selfish. That's selfless. And if, if we ask God, Lord, help us to be selfless. Help us to put you first in everything. Um, you see, if, if we allow God 
to help us to put him first in everything, then we can be like a vessel, we can be like instruments in his hands that get used for his plans and purposes. Um, you know, Jesus said, seek first the kingdom of, of God, and then all of these things shall be added unto you, right? God knows what you need. God knows what I need. But if we seek first his kingdom, if we look to him, and we put him first in everything, you know, Proverbs 3, 6 says, uh, Acknowledge the Lord in all your ways. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Lean not on your own understanding. Acknowledge the Lord in all your ways, and he will make your path straight. Proverbs 3, 6. You know, trust in the Lord. Really trust in the Lord. You know, one of the things is, you know, with schizophrenia, with... Um, being demonically tormented in the mind, whether you're a believer or not, the, the voices of the enemy, the voices of these demons, continuously, pessimistically, trying to get you to hate yourself, to feel lonely, to feel worthless, to feel of no use, basically just trying to kill your personality. And if you allow yourself to only believe these lies about yourself, it's going to kill your identity. You know, we have to, that's why believing the truth makes us free. You know, believe that God loves you. Believe that God has a plan for your life, that you are special, you're one of a kind, and um, created to fulfill God's purpose. Believe that. Allow yourself to believe that. And overcome any, any, anything in your heart that prevents you from believing that. You see, we have a choice, we have a free will. Will we believe the truth, or will we believe the lies? There's, a, there's many, many, many lies, but there's only one truth. Jesus is the truth. So will we believe Jesus and what Jesus says and what Jesus teaches? Will we build our lives upon the words that Jesus spoke, upon his teachings? Because that is a solid foundation. You know, if we do, we'll find that when these storms come, when difficult times come, when emotional storms and mental storms and, you know, the seas are raging and, and the spiritual world is really raging against us. If we have built our lives upon the teaching of Jesus, then those storms will come and go and we will remain. We will be the victors. We will stand strong and tall. But if we don't have that foundation of Jesus Christ, if we haven't learned from him, if we haven't put his words into practice, then, then our whole life is built on a foundation made of sand. And when the storms come against us, we, we, we along with our houses, everything that we've built on the sand will be washed away. Okay? So we have to, two things really, completely uh, learn what Jesus has said, what Jesus teaches about, believe. You know, read, read in the Bible all the times that Jesus cast demons out of people and made them well. You know, and schizophrenia was not a term that was used in, you know, in Israel 2,000 years ago. But, I, you know, the, the terms that were used were like uh, lunatic, you know. Um, you know, there was a guy who was uh, out in the tombs who was like a crazed wild animal he had the legion guy he had like 2,000 demons living in him and he was cutting himself and, and, and wild and, and breaking chains with his bare hands and stuff and you know Jesus had no problem Jesus delivered him Jesus cast those demons right out and that man was completely set free so be encouraged certainly that no matter how big or small no matter what your problems are mentally, whatever confusion or lies you've faced, whatever disappointments you've faced, there's no problem that is too big for the Lord Jesus Christ. There's no problem that is bigger than him. He can handle all things. So, so give it all to God. Cry out to God. You know, really from the very depth of your heart, as deep as you can, express how you want God to change your life and be prepared to do whatever it takes. 
And like I said, I'm not saying that it's going to be easy, that it will be easy. But God promises that to those people that are committed to follow him till the end, he'll never leave them or forsake them. And he will bring you through. And it, by his power, he will cause you to stand. When he died on the cross, he defeated the powers of darkness. He defeated them. So because he did that for us, and that what he has accomplished was for us, we can walk in that victory. We don't have to fight and fight and gain victory. We can't fight the devil and gain victory. We just have to rest and learn how to trust and rest in the victory that Christ already has purchased for us. Okay, It's like there's a promised land. There's a promised land. It's a spiritual promised land. And it's it's in Christ, you know, it's in Christ Jesus. And it says in the Bible that, you know, if we've been born again, we are in Christ Jesus. You know, Jesus said, abide in me. You know, if you abide in me, you will, you will bear much fruit. Anyway, so maybe I've digressed a little bit, but I really just wanted to drive the point home. Yes, schizophrenia is demonic. Yes, it's complicated. I know saying demonic sounds like a sweeping statement. There's a lot more complications and like things that the enemy actually does do to um, to change the way that the, the brain works or whatever. But if you can get the demons out, then I fully believe that if you're committed to God, he will begin to, to knit your neuronic pathways back together and better than they ever were. But you have to be born again. You have to be a born again Christian. Um, do I have any encouraging words? I hope you. I hope I've got some encouraging words. Listen, friend. If Jesus Christ can do it for for me, and He's done it for me, He can do it for you. If you're prepared to follow Jesus. So yeah. So I hope that this video has been an encouragement. I can't really think of anything else that I feel pressing to say. Except for, you know, don't give up. Don't give up. You know, there's times when all people will sometimes endure the limit, the absolute limit of what they can take. But it says in the Bible that God will not let us endure more than we can take. He knows our limits better than us. And looking back over my life, I can say thank you for all of the, the horrible things that, that, I, that I went through because I know that I have a testimony because I can say that the Lord Jesus Christ has brought me through these things. He's brought me through these problems, these difficulties. He's broken the chains of the devil. He's made me a brand new person. He's given me a brand new life. He's given me a new spirit inside of me um, and he's restored um me into a relationship with my heavenly father so now i can walk with god and that is the gospel he's done it all when he died on the cross he made that way he made the way possible for us to be reconciled back to god and to become children of god and escape the wrath that is coming the wrath that's going to be poured out on all the world who, who refuse to to surrender and, and you know, bow the knee and serve Christ. So I hope that's given you something to think about, and I hope it's been a blessing. Please feel free to inbox me again, and then um, you know, never know, I may feel led to uh, to make another video like this one. Um, yeah, thanks for watching. If you like this video, please subscribe to the channel. Um, healed and restored although it will be just changing to andrew goodwin soon um, find me on youtube facebook um, get in touch i'd love to hear your testimonies um, got other videos on there resources the uh, teachings about christian living Derek prince videos frank hammond jacob crash quite a few good things and, and, and also my testimony of what Jesus has done for me, saving me from being a schizophrenic and healing me, restoring me, 
and setting me free. Hallelujah. So check it out and be blessed. God bless you. Shalom. Amen.